So managing your service levels. If you need to manage service levels, go to your settings and click onto the settings page and then get to service levels. That's what how you get to this page. The only people who have access to modify this are client admins, which you'll find here or on top of the user's type, the user's login detail. You can see their type listed here. So click on service. There are four modules. You will likely have access to all four. If you didn't, that was an error. Send us a, uh, an email and we will correct that immediately. Or in the alternative, you can just select it here and we're going to get to whatever changes you need to make. Uh, if you The end date's typically going to be the end of the year. Uh, we do that pretty regularly uh, or the last, the end of your year span. Uh, you want to add new users, tell us how many. More approvers, tell us how many. More storage space, tell us what you need. Likelihood that you're going to go over even one or five gigabytes is really uncommon, but uh, it's possible. So let's say you need to go over. You would need more projects, approvers, and all the rest. Go ahead and hit submit. Now what's going to happen is it's going to calculate a number. It's going to tell you it's $527 more. That is an artifact of the fact. Artifact of an art. Who I can't speak today. That is an artifact of the past. So. Just check the manual, which is the default. It's going to give you a number. Don't worry about the number. It's irrelevant to this conversation. When you click continue, it's going to generate an invoice. What I want you to do with that invoice is I want you to download it and save it somewhere. By saving it, by saving it, it gives us a detail of what needs to change. It doesn't really matter how you name it. You're just going to send it to us on an email. Save this document. When it's done downloading, this tells us what you need us to set, make the settings to. And we'll just go in and do them in the back end. What will happen is when you send this invoice, you're actually changing the settings in the background here. And that change, because it's a manual payment and not an online payment, don't select online because you'll be taken down a cycle of adding credit card details. Not relevant, don't do it. Everything's paid for in advance, so there's no reason to have it ever hit a credit card. But what that does is it sets in motion the addition of the users, the storage, and all the services that you need, and it sends it to us and tells us, hey, this is what needs to happen. On our back end, we get notification that says, hey, we have user pending set, uh, settings that we need to then go set up and configure. So what you're going to see, what we're going to see in the background is something that looks like this. It's going to be very similar to what you see, only right here it tells us, hey, it's waiting for a payment, and that payment equals this, and we need to apply it. So once we apply that payment, it's a fictitious payment. We're just going to put money in here that equals that uh, so that you then get access to all of those elements. There's very little you got to do in the background, but you're, that tells us, hey, you need more of something. Send us that, uh, that invoice that was generated by the system when we clicked continue, this invoice right here that you saved. Send us that. That tells us everything we need to know about who needs what and how much of what. We'll go in. We'll apply our metric in the background so that it adds automatically, and then we'll send you an email saying that's taken care of. So this is just a method, an archive or an artifact of the past where we used to allow users access to our platform for just the F3. Didn't include any of the payroll or the cost reporting or the fringe engine, but, you, but they could gain access and they paid an annual or monthly fee for access to the system. That was really... A, an, artifact, an artifact of the past. We don't do that anymore. It's, it's much more integrated. It has a lot more AI and automation and payroll and cost reporting and fringe calculation for the guilds and unions. So uh, just use the service level module as a way to tell us you need something more. You fill it out, send us a document, we'll approve it in the back end, and within seconds you'll have access to it. And that's it.